We're gonna look at PageSpeed Insights again. I'm gonna be working with this website on PageSpeed Insights to show you how to correct um, uh, some of the problems Google finds. So we're gonna analyze the website again. And this plugin is going to replace one of the features of the W3 Total Cache plugin. So I mentioned that there was something better for compressing or what we would say minifying uh, JavaScript and CSS. So you'll see down at the bottom, we have all these problems with JavaScript and CSS, 2% reduction there. 11% reduction there, and then minify HTML. So this plugin is called Autoptimize. And once you've enabled it, um, you want to go back into W3 Total Cache and get rid of the JavaScript or disable the JavaScript and CSS compression. You don't want both of them competing against each other. So as you can see, I've already downloaded it. It's Autoptimize like auto-optimize but only 1.0. And so remember, I had this huge list of problems with CSS, JS, just JavaScript, and HTML. So you go into the settings, and you're gonna check off optimize HTML code, optimize JavaScript, and optimize CSS. Okay, and then you would click save at the bottom. I've already done that. So like I said, uh, in the W3 total cache menu, you wanna go back in here, go down to the minify thing, and make sure that that is disabled, okay? Because it's basically doing the same thing, but this auto-optimized plugin is better for it. So we have all these problems here, right? We have a, a score of a 78, Now we're back up to 82. And you'll see uh, the minify CSS and HTML are now gone. All those problems have been fixed. And the minify JavaScript is now down to only four issues and it's only a 1% reduction that you could get from it. The eliminate render blocking JavaScript, but it had a huge list of things, is now just down to one. And so the plugin uh, did work, light work. So that's Autoptimize.